What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Doyle back with another video. Today's video is a super highly requested video. Like I get this question all the time: How do you cut your loss? How do you cut your loss if you? How, how do you win more if you're doing one on one? Okay, how 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 are you able to distinguish if this is going to be a loser or not? Okay, so this is what this video is about. Okay, I made plenty of videos on cutting my losses early in the Discord, but I decided, okay, let me just put this on YouTube. Because I'm just, I get the same DM all the time. And if I keep seeing the same DM over and over, okay, it's time for me to make a video about it. Okay. Um, I do want to do a disclaimer. Um, I've been cutting my loss ever since I've been training Fibs. You can go on my earlier videos. I talk about cutting losses early with Fibonacci. It's like a super old video. I'll talk about it. I've been cutting losses since then. So we talking about three years of experience of cutting losses. Okay. If you haven't been trying to cut losses when you train the planet, man, I'm gonna be honest, you're just not gonna be as great. It takes experience to know the counselic pattern, okay? The momentum, okay? Seeing um, where your stop loss is at, you may be right there by liquidity. It's a lot of things that comes into um, trying to cut your loss early. So I wanna say that, okay? If you watch this video and then after you get off this video, you're gonna try to cut your loss, understand you're gonna be making mistakes. You may cut a loot, you may cut a trade and then be a winner, okay? I just wanted to say that. So this takes time. I don't want to sell nobody a dream. This takes time because I'm trying to tell you I have cut winning trades and it ended up just going up 20, 30 pips. And I'm just like, damn, why did I get out of that trade? Because I'm trying to cut my loss. This It's a risk cutting losses. I'm just going to just say that right now. But I just want to say that before um, people just try to implement, implement this into their trading plan and it start going left. Okay. Now, let's get on the chart. I'm going to show you exactly what I look for when I'm... Um, trying to cut a loss on supply and demand setups, especially for the break of the candle. So let's get it. All right, so we're gonna charge, man. I got three examples I wanna break down. They're all losing trades, and I just wanna just walk through candle by candle on my thought process on when I should cut the loss, okay? Now again, every single situation is going to be different. Every trade is unique, so you gotta understand that this comes with experience and understand understanding candlesticks and understanding price action because if you see certain candlestick patterns, you will know, like, okay, maybe I should just cut the loss because why are they printing this type of candle when we're taking a sale, etc. So right here, we have a supply zone right here. Clear, it's clean, got a break of structure, everything look beautiful. But people got to understand. Okay, so supply and demand is a, is a trend trading strategy. We understand that, clear as day, it's not rocket science. But do we really think that the trend is going to always drop when we see supplies? Or do we always think it's gonna be bullish when we see demands? No, like the trend will do corrections. So once people understand that a reversal is bound to happen and it's kind of impossible for you to win every single supply and demand setup, people will not trip about it, okay? So I see this beautiful supply and demand setup, well, supply setup right here, break of structure. But if I zoom out, it's making me more scared to take this setup. Why? Because look at where the trend started. I'm gonna circle this right here. The trend started right there. We was dropping during London session and New York session. So we got three sessions where we're dropping. We started right here and we start dropping and we're dropping and we're dropping some more. OK, now um, this setup is a little bit risky just because you do not want to take a supply setup that's too low. A pullback is going to come. We already know that the market loves to mirror itself. So this whole bearish move will eventually get filled, eventually. We don't know when, but eventually it will get filled. Now, again, this setup is already low, so if I take this supply setup, I need to be fast on cutting my loss just because I know for a fact we got a gap that's directly above, right there. Gap directly above, and the trend been going on for quite some time. So let's fast forward and see what they do in the zone. Fast forward, okay, boom, they tap the zone, okay? And all three examples, I'm going to, it's all going to be based off the break of the candle. Let's fast forward. Boom. And then we'll be getting in right here. We'll be getting right there. We're going to have roughly, let's just say 20, 20 pip stop loss. Let's just round that up. 20 pip stop loss, whatever. Okay. Now, this does make sense to get in aggressive, but say if you don't get in aggressive and you want to get in a break of the candle. And first target got to be one to one. Okay. Let's fast forward. This happens. Now, again, like I said, price action is king. You got to understand what is going on in real time. Yes, we can see that this candle did a, a fake out and, and went up. But when a candle is being broken, previously broken to, to the downside and then start shooting up, I'm going to personally uh, cut the trade right there. Now, why would I cut the trade right there? Because look at the previous candles before this uh, bullish moment of candle. We had 
three rejections at the zone. Okay, we got a doji at the zone. We got a momentum candle that came into the zone and rejected it. And then we had a, a bearish candle in the zone. So three candles rejected the zone. And now we have this fake out candle right there. Okay, that's going to give me an indication that maybe they want to push up. Now, do we know that they're going to continue up? No, but I'm trying to cut the loss as fast as possible. So right here, um, we went from a 20 pip, 20 pip stop loss to a 12 pip stop loss. So I just it just saved me eight pips. It may not be a lot, but that is a big deal if you keep continuously doing that. Okay. Um, so again, I would be quick to cut this loss just because we're already low. I know that a correction is coming and I have to be careful on constantly taking supply setups when we've just been dropping from multiple sessions. Okay. Hope I hope this is making sense for people. Okay. Let's go to the next setup. This setup in particular, it have nothing to do with it being too low or too high. This particular setup, um, the real reason why I would try to cut this loss is the timing of the day. Okay, so I always say this before, and I say this to my students all the time. I lose the most after 1030, okay? It doesn't mean that trades will not win, but volume is being taken out of the market around 11 o'clock, okay? The closer you are to 11 o'clock, you will start to see that it start consolidating. The move have already happened. They don't really have a lot of pips to give. So after 1030, I'm very careful. So let's just fast forward. I'm gonna show you. Okay, tap the zone. Okay, boom, we begin in somewhere right there. Stop loss will be right up and up there. Something like that. First take profit, one to one. Okay. Now, like I said, after 1030, volume likes to slow down. Now, let's fast forward. You had enough time to get out of that trade. Okay. Now, this is also an example of candles being broken against you. So like the break of the candle entry, we, we wanted to push away from us to go into profit. But why are they doing stuff like this? Breaking this candle low, breaking that candle low. I personally would try to cut my loss right there at that second break. Because like, well, like what are you doing? Like if you say you want to go up, continue up. Why are you breaking candle lows? That would be a red flag for me to try to get out. Okay. So this setup in particular, the time of the day, and the candles being broken against me. Okay, so really just price action looking at the candles being broken. Now, it's hard to see this stuff because it's already printed. We know that this is replay mode. That's why you gotta catch this stuff live and see the candles being printed. See the momentum being shifted, seeing the volume slow down and you will see like, okay, this is probably a trade that I need to get um, get out of, okay? It's not so much you can see through back testing. That's why I say traders are not gonna get good at, at trading just by back testing or simulating. No, you get better at just catching setups, okay? So this is a perfect example of the timing of the day is mattering when I'm taking a setup and obviously this trade loss and uh, we're going to go to the next setup. Stop loss will be up underneath those those candles right there. OK, six pips stop loss. First take profit got to be six pips, something like that. Or we could just do seven, something like that, whatever. OK, now that would be your first take profit right there. First take profit right there. And say if you was one of those traders that just they only want to go for one, two, one, and three, and you want to fill in that gap, okay, cool. I'm not knocking you. Let's fast forward. Okay, it wicks your take profit. All right. Now, this video is about cutting losses. Now, when is the time to try to cut this loss? We obviously know what well, I know this is gonna be a loser, but when is there a good time to cut this loss? Let's fast forward. Okay, we're breaking a candle low, and then we reject. Okay, the candle closed. It broke the candle low, but it closed bullish. That's still a bullish candle. It broke that low, but then it closed bullish. Okay, fast forward. Boom, then that happens. Now, this looks just like the previous setup on NAS 100, where they broke the candle low previously on that supply setup and then shot up. This is the same thing. So, me personally, I'm going to be very quick to cut the loss once we get somewhere up in this area because this candle was green. It broke the candle high and then started dropping. Why are you doing that if we are bullish? Okay, if you zoom out on this GU trade, we look bullish. Okay, we the trend did start down here during London session, and again, like I said, uh, New York session loves love to do reversals. But say if that's not a reversal day and they want to continue up, you can't be scared to take that setup. So right here, um, that would be my indication to get out because there's no reason why you should even be doing that. Now let's fast forward and see what actually happens. Okay, it shoots up. Okay, close bearish right there. Then they didn't stop you out. Okay, so say if you didn't get, get out right there, this should be another area where you should be looking to exit the trade. 
So right there, like up in, the, up in this area, let me uh, mark this up. Like up in this area, you need to be closing because this candle is moving in momentum, okay? But again, you can't see this during back testing. So you're only gonna get better with this if you are catching steps live and trying to cut the trade in real time, okay? So um, that's really all I have far as cutting losses. I'm looking at the time of the day. I'm looking at where the trend started. I'm looking at, okay, how many pullbacks did they give before they present this supply setup or this demand setup? Okay, are they consolidating at my zone? Um, what is the candles being printed? Are the candles, are the candle highs or lows being broken against me or in my favor? Which one? Okay, this situation, they're breaking candle lows. Broke this low, broke that low, broke this candle high, but then we broke another low. What's going on? Like, so price action is very key. You gotta know candlestick patterns, man. And another thing that I don't, I feel like a lot of people don't talk about is that the lower the time frame, the less the candlestick pattern matters. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Because you'll see it engulfing on a five minute, doesn't mean it's gonna go in that direction. That could just be a fake out, okay? And just because you see it on a 30 minute chart doesn't mean it's gonna go in, go in your favor, okay? You gotta really understand the time of the day, your session, and what London did, because most of the time they like to um, take out London or 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 reverse where London first started. So say if London was like right here, let's say if London was down down here and it started right there, like right here. Okay, they the market loves to do stuff like this. Like this is where London started, and then shoot up and then come all the way back down and then go back up. The market loves to do that because traders have their stop loss right there. So they're going to take out those traders and then continue in that initial direction. So um, be very careful if you're trying to cut your loss, man. Like this is like this is really difficult to do continuously because, like I said on the beginning of this video, um, I've been cutting losses since I've been trading fibs. It's a process. So please, please practice, bro. Please. But that's all I got. Peace and love. I'm out.